Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Weston John Boucher, and I have a few things to get off my chest. I will admit, I'm pretty annoyed at the world right now. So, this video is gonna be about the downfall of society and the current phenomenon known as I support the current thing. So, I'm gonna talk about how we can get more informed, what to do about it, what it is, and how to combat it. Let's do this. <laughs> All right, guys, again, my name is Weston John Boucher. I'm a model, menswear designer, YouTuber, and Amazon Live A-list creator. And the best way you can support my channel is to subscribe, comment, like, share this video, help my channel grow. And another practical way is to check out my menswear line, Weston John Boucher. You can see the links all below in the description. Please use code YouTube15 to save at checkout. I'm wearing my Hemingway cardigan right now in the oat color. And guys, they are finally here. My ultra soft tapered fit denim jeans. These have been in development for the last year and a half and I assure you they turned out incredible and it was worth the wait. They have an awesome tapered fit. It's a slim fit type jean and they are crazy, crazy soft. So please check them out. They're gonna pair so well with every top in my entire line. So the goal of my line is to make style simple and easy. It's how style should feel. So go check that out. Another way to support me practically is to check out my Amazon shop as that's gonna have a curated list I've been working on for the last three years and you always see me pointing to it on my channel because I talk about topics like skincare, hair care, and all that good stuff. Well, all my favorite products and exactly everything I use and more can all be found there. So check that out before you go as well. So we live in a time that couldn't be more polarizing. Choose an issue, choose a side, or in many cases, people choose a side and then in turn self-righteously adopt and defend all tenets and stances under that political allegiance without question. This in turn has caused tribalism and different factions that further divide us. So the problem then becomes the media having identified that and then they can capitalize on this divide and increase viewership ratings basically by fanning the flames and then demonizing those with opposing views you know, depending on which network or talking head you listen to. The problem here is that our society has become obsessed with social and geopolitical issues to the degree where it becomes part of their entire identity. So when someone has a different opinion or even a question for that matter, it's taken as a threat to their identity and then you in turn become the enemy by default. Just because you even question for a millisecond. You've likely heard the serenity prayer at some point in life. Well, I believe it's a better mindset to follow than the aforementioned. As people are exhausting so much energy on the things they mostly can't control, if any. So the serenity prayer goes, God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and wisdom to know the difference. Good, right? <laughs> so the problem in our society is that we've gone the opposite direction. Now we obsess over what we can't control versus what we can, causing massive anxiety inside, a coddling culture, adopting groupthink, and just regurgitating opinions that were likely from an echo chamber platform like Twitter or Parler that just affirms and coddles people and, and their beliefs without any pushback, you know what I mean? We have so many hot button issues hitting the news cycle pretty much, what, every two weeks at a time, like clockwork almost. It's often without critical thinking, people will get fired up about whatever the current thing is, irrational fears, then take over and people get on their high horse on their social media they change their bio and biopics virtue signal until the next news cycle changes and then they have to swap out their biopic <laughs> where they're you know wearing a mask and have triple vaxxed written in their actual bio but then they have to swap that out for the blm flag then they swap that out for the ukraine flag 
then they swap that out for the pro-choice banner then they swap that out for the kids trans rights flag then they swap that out for the anti-gun rhetoric and on and on it goes and they honestly think they're out there changing the world sorry but you're not you're lacking something in your life most likely meaning of some kind or deep-seated trauma maybe you haven't processed or anger about something unrelated and then you're projecting that onto an injustice that you see out there in the world but all you're really doing is being obnoxious and making it about you and how righteous you are instead of actually looking inward at yourself and how you can improve yourself maybe live a healthy lifestyle help someone in your family your community or contribute in a real world way that isn't social media escapism but maybe something more like confronting having to exist and accept yourself and your life and being okay with that would be a better thing to adopt your identity is more than your pronoun political affiliation your vax status abortion stance or whether or not you wear a mask outside on a hiking trail under the burning hot sun <laughs> I've seen it, but sure, keep preaching, follow the science. What drives me nuts about this problem with our society is that when you question this behavior or even inquire more about what it is someone believes, you are typically met, in my experience, with vitriol instead of respectful conversation and useful information. You know, you're accused of being QAnon, a Trumpster, a racist, a fast fascist, and so on. You know, I'll tell you right now, I'm registered as an independent for a reason because I care more about my principles and values than I do any allegiance to a political party or institution. I mean, I've seen nothing but corruption on all sides, human greed and manipulation take over people, all while they desert their core principles at all costs to appear right or to somehow have the moral high ground over the next person. So anyways, <laughs> quite a rant, I know. My advice to you is to not give in to or cower to this woke culture. Like stand strong in your own values and beliefs. Be informed, be proactive to educate yourself as much as possible on your own beliefs and be respectful, calm, calculated when you engage with others. Let them melt down, you know? You know why? Because you can control how you react to things. So listen, I too struggle with seeing injustice in the world. It really bothers me. I too feel helpless and angry oftentimes when I see and hear what's going on in the world too. I mean, it's, it's pretty bad these days, for sure. Like it's escalated so much in the last few years. The injustice that bothers me even more is how how weak we've become as people you know like how delicate and oversensitive we are it's it's like there's almost this notion that we have to bow submit and compromise to appease and cater to people's delicate nature and feelings or otherwise will be censored you know called a racist or be accused of hate speech for simply having different beliefs opinions or values as if I have to adopt whatever the media tells me is the current narrative to follow or else a witch hunt will be after me for not wholeheartedly getting behind the current thing. Well, too bad. Like I'm not a lemming and I do have questions. I do not just trust everything that comes out in the news from our leaders, public figures, public officials, or what massive institutions tell me in that moment. And you shouldn't either. It doesn't mean that you don't want to trust them. It just means trust is earned and it's healthy and educated to expect more information, you know, before throwing my entire emotional capacity behind any said issue or hot button topic. People need to check their emotional health at the door um, before they get you know, or decide to get wrapped up in pop politics, geopolitical events social issues and beyond i support free speech but don't fill the air with divisive nonsense and then try to report or block me because i ask a respectful question about something you say in the public square people like that just need to get a spine it's plain and simple act like an adult and learn to intelligently debate 
you know, your fellow American. It's not that hard. Don't be so sensitive. You know, that's how we solve this. Common ground can simply be agreeing to disagree after hearing each other's views. I want your right to exist to say things I disagree with, okay? I want people I don't care for to be able to speak freely and offer up ideas even if I think they're wrong. Maybe the best ideas will be left standing is the, the idea, basically. <laughs> That's redundant. But I mean, if history has taught us anything, it's that there always ends up being more to the story as time goes on and truth eventually comes to light. But now we see a clip on the internet and in milliseconds you have every blue checkmark person exploiting something to gain attention to only later find out it was either fake or totally missing context. And to clarify, you know, when I talk about free speech, I don't believe you should be allowed to explicitly call for violence, dock someone, you know, which is posting someone's physical address online or publicly, or, you know, be blatantly racist. But outside of that, if you're trying to muddy the waters by silencing, shadow banning, reporting or demonizing others simply because they don't think or believe the same things as you, then you're simply un-American, in my opinion, and have forgotten what the United States means. It's a collective of states that govern themselves differently, okay? While all being united under one flag as Americans. If you want like a singular entity to rule with an iron fist over, you know, all we believe, um, then you're totally missing the point of what makes America so unique, in my opinion. I welcome a diverse and dynamic country. I mean, we are a country of immigrants, but first and foremost, we are Americans with freedom and liberty for all. So start acting like it. Be kind, but also be proud. Other nations are very proud you know, of their culture and where they're from. They'll fly their flag. Why is it so different for us? You know, be unashamed to no longer sit in the shadows as the silent majority who are tired of all this political correctness and giving into the woke mob. I'm so over it, you know? If people wanna judge you, demonize you, let them try. The strong, principled, and informed will eventually drown out the noise by not appeasing or conforming to this onslaught of anti-American nonsense. Like, you do your thing, I'll do mine, respect me, and I'll respect you. But don't push your beliefs down my throat or try to label me because you're having an identity crisis and you need everyone else to follow suit or you'll have a panic attack, you know? It's like absorbing current events and tragedies and internalizing them is not something people should take on in general. That's heavy, right? Um, dwelling and mourning or obsessing over world events will just exhaust and defeat you emotionally. And then it'll probably just cause you to become bitter and likely divisive against one group or another. My advice through all this is focus on the things in life that you can control and stop obsessing about what you can't, okay? It's okay to have passion for causes and get behind movements you believe in, but know yourself first, or you may lose yourself in the process and the respect of everyone around you while trying to change the world. People can see through BS, you know what I mean? Like, so just make sure your motives are pure and your cause is just that you're behind. I'll close with this again. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change. Courage to change the things I can and wisdom to know the difference. All right, guys, that wraps up today's video. Thank you for being here. Thank you for listening to me rant. I've been wanting to talk about stuff like this for a while. I know that my channel and everything that I talk about is men's self-improvement, uh, but part of it is men's mental health. So you know, give me some leeway here. I know that you like me to talk about style and hair stuff and all that, but with everything that's going on in the world, it's like, this is what's on my mind, you know? I pay attention to a lot of this stuff and I think it's having a big impact on people's mental health, including my own, and I'm trying to get ahead of it. I'm trying to enter the conversation on YouTube. It's, you don't know what you're gonna get in terms of people reporting you and saying stuff like that. And you might be saying like, Where's this energy coming from? Why does it sound like you're on the defense? I talk about a lot of stuff online in comments and things like that with people. And that's what I'm talking about, my, my actual interactions with people. 
um, online and off as well. And I see this recurring theme and I just think that it's a poison, you know? I think that people, like I said in the video, need to get a spine. And if they're so confident about what they believe, then chill, you know? Like you don't need to get so overly emotional and um, try to just uh, go on the defense and like I, like I said, demonize someone else because they don't think the same thing as you. Like just shut up and listen for a minute and before you think you know everything about the world, myself included, you know? Like again, I wanna hear all views, I wanna hear all opinions. I'm not here to dictate what other people should think, but I wanted to share my opinion today. Maybe it's helpful for you, maybe it'll get you thinking in a different way. But my advice would be to, again, <laughs> excuse me, stand strong and be unashamed about who you are, what you believe in, and don't feel like you have to hide because of um, backlash or losing your job or all that, because all that will just be gone if we allow society complete, to completely transform in this way where you're just bowing to the will of others, right? And again, be peaceful, be respectful, be calm, and listen to the other person. Do what you can in your own community, in your own family, and have these conversations, even with those that you don't agree with, and even though it can be uncomfortable, hear what they have to say and go from there. Again, hopefully this was helpful. I appreciate you guys listening if you made it this far. I will see you guys next time. Make sure you check out my clothing line, Weston John Boucher, before you go, as I do have that code for you, YouTube 15, to check out. That's a practical way to support what I'm doing. And check out my Amazon shop as well for all my favorite stuff. All right, guys, I will see you next time.